Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy, happy Memorial Day. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm happy. Y'all should be happy if you're not. Put on a happy face. Okay, I was just, you know, going going around, still doing my little thing at home, washing a few clothes today. We'll eat barbecue later on, hamburgers and baked beans and all that good stuff. And I thought I would keep you all entertained with dropping videos out for your enjoyment, your pleasure, your laughter. Because that's all it's about. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Because there's so much other stuff in the world that brings us down, pulls us down, and tries to wipe us out. But no fret. I am here to settle all of that and get you in the mood of just feeling good and giving some wise nuggets for the ones that need to be reproved and all of that jazz, okay? But let's get on into this. Let's get on into this. This mess I'm hearing about Miss Kenya Summer Moore having some mood swings. And I'm trying to understand... What in the Sunny Brook Farm type of pity party train you are trying to ride on today? Yes, I saw, because I was looking for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not that I was going to do the show, but if I saw a part that I liked it, I was going to come air it out and see what it do on, on the channel. How my family, my YouTube family like it, accepting it. Whether they're neighing it or they yaying it. You know, that kind of swing type of mentality I was going for today. Because everything is just up in the air. I'm going to be talking about in and everybody. I feel like I want to just, you know, talk about that needs some correction. Or needs some outstanding, standing ovation of being just a good person, a good parent and all that kind of stuff. And just, hey, the ones that are living life, doing it, making it pop and doing it well. Okay. But I came across this video. I don't think Real Housewives of Atlanta really showed their show. Or maybe they were showing highlights or something. But anyway, I got caught wind of Miss um, Kenya Summer Moore out there trying to uh, get from the table that Candy them were at. You know, when they were sitting eating and discussing and tearing up uh, Ralph ass from the uh, sun up to the sundown. From the top of his head to the sole of his feet. And the ins and outs of taking his guts and putting them out and bringing them back in. re him up and hopefully he would fly right. But anyway. <sighs> I saw Kenya Ken being upset. She had to leave the table because Mark is causing her nothing but frustration and aggravation. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Ain't that the pot calling the killer black? Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Okay. Weren't you the one getting on Drew about Ralph? And his manipulation and his passive aggressive type ways and behavior he was doing on her. And I saw growth and I saw the con contrast and comparison you were doing with your, you and how you and Ma were going. And how it just made you cringe and you want to flip tables over and shit like that. Because he had made you mad. Okay and then Ralph just reinforced that madness that you thought had you know, had gone away and this that and the third. And I'm like hold up wait a minute. Got some bubble gum in it. It's stuck to the shoe, to the floor. And that's why I ain't got no more. But yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Can you, can you, can you, can you. Get off the horse. Okay. Get off the horse. Come sit down on the ranch. Let's just sit on the porch and, and let's talk about this shit. Okay. Because we can't be trying to straighten up other people's lives. And throwing good uh, points and, and, and uh, doing good reproof. On a person, you know, trying to get them straightened out because you don't went through it and this, that, and third. Now, we can't have you out there slowing up somebody else's uh, mentality and trying to feed them with good stock, uh, for advice. And then you're going to come back and act like that person you're trying to reprove, girl. 
I'm like, wait a minute. That don't make no sense. This dumb as hell. Let me remind you who you are, girl. Let me just remind you of eight pleasant points of who you are. First and foremost, you're a child of God. I think. I don't know. But I'm hoping you are. Okay. Secondly, you are a wonderful mother and caregiver. Third, you're an actress. Fourth, you're a model. Fifth, you're a producer. Sixth, you're an author. Seven, you're a television personality. Eight, you're an entrepreneur. Now, what in the hell are you crying over Mark for? We done gave you enough time to just cry. Ain't like he died. It may feel to some people that when you had to get a divorce and all this, that, and the third, it, it, it was a death. Okay, we done got it. We, we understand it. Get it, got it good. But guess what? Life goes on. All right, life goes on. And the one thing that came out of that mess of a marriage or farce or contractual agreement that y'all made, however you want to see it, baby, was baby Brooklyn. She the one needs you. You are the caregiver. You are the mother. You can't survive without having both parents or, or one parent and not the other. You see what I'm saying? You can survive. It may be hard, but it just is what it is. There's no more time for tears and crying and all this, that, and the third. And the only reason I think you feel that way is because you really haven't let go of Mark's presence. Okay? What is it going to take? Him get married to somebody else? Or he having a real relationship with somebody else for you to get mad, upset, and uh, get up and, and know you need to do what you need to do and disown those feelings that you had for him or wanted to still have? You're going to have to let it go, can you? You're going to have to let it go. Okay, he can act a fool all day long if he want to. Hell, give him the money that he uh purchased that pool for. No, he shouldn't get the house, but if you got the mortgage, your house just to pay for that, which I don't think you have to. I know you got the coins in the bank. Stop being selfish. Just go on and pay that man for that pool. Okay, or shit, cut the shit out and send it to him. Send it to him. I don't know how you would get it transported from Atlanta to New York, but whatever. Okay, he's not living there anymore. No, he don't deserve half of the house. He needs to have. Well, we gonna say that on on on. Uh, we we ain't gonna say that. But I I was gonna say, you know, one of them things, a lobotomy. That's what he probably need, okay? Cause he's short of a few stacks of some wires up there, okay? We just gonna say wires. I'm gonna say something else, but ain't no sense of me getting cited or anything of that nature, okay? But girl, I need you to get it together. You have too much worth and good in you to be sitting there worried about. Why Mark is doing this? Why Mark is doing that? Fuck Mark, okay? Fuck Mark. We don't care for him, okay? Just as long as he's doing what he needs to do. And he's uplifting baby Brooklyn. And he's doing the right thing as a parent. That should be your own concern when he's with her. That's it. That's all. Get it. Got it. Good, can you? We don't want to see this mess from you, okay? Because you can't be giving out good advice to other people. And then you turn around doing the same shit that they think and they doing. That you're trying to correct them on. Doesn't make sense, Kenya. And we need you to make sense. Because you are you are the Kenya Moore. Okay? You are the Kenya Summer Moore. Nobody can take that away from you. Now, you have high esteem for yourself. You have high regard for yourself. But you're going around here looking like a damn fool. To crying over Ma. Getting frustrated over Ma. Only thing we need you to do is let your lawyers do what they need to do. Get it done. And leave them alone. That's it. That's all. Because Mark going to always be that passive aggressive type nature person. You can't change it. You can't fix it. So stop worrying about it. You need to go to a therapist. A very good therapist. And one that you know has a background in kid therapy as well. Because I'm sure Brooklyn going to need it. I'm sure she's going to need it later on down the road to try to understand her dad. And how he has put you in a, a very precarious, precarious type of situation where you're doing what all you can do and he acting the ass. Okay, so I think both of y'all going, well, you don't need therapy right now, I'm pretty sure. But you need therapy, can you? need to get in there, let all your defenses down, and let somebody fix you. Okay? And keep prayer in your life. Keep prayer in your life daily. Secondly, you know, every second of the day. When he's getting on your nerves, pray to the Lord. If you know the Lord, you know he's a fixer. He's a way maker. He's your provider, okay? He's all of that and then some. So let's get it together, Kenya Moore. Let's get it together. Because right now it looked like you're having an emotional breakdown. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And Drew could have used that as ammunition on you. And she still may do. But, you know, she kind of, she kind of, <sighs> two stacks short of a, a full pancake. Okay? She's two short stack of a full pancake. So that's, we're going to leave that right there. All right? But don't give your enemy things to come back and tear you down about, okay? That you have to feel emotionally and attacked 
and you have to like start spraying folks with your verbalness okay we don't want that to happen because you put yourself out there for the whole world to see no mm -mm. nope your body language is all wrong you were looking like a wimp you were looking like a chump and you know you the baddest bitch on them act like you the baddest bitch girl Act like you're the baddest bitch on that shit. Even when you don't feel like it. Even if you don't feel like you should be the baddest bitch on them. Counsel that type of thinking out. Get it. You know. Go, go to the bathroom. Get Collect your thoughts and stuff. And come back. Okay. Because everybody wear masks out there here and there. But we don't ever want to be around our enemies. And we show weakness. Because they can show that. They can use that against you. Later on down the road. Alright. You can't change anybody can you. Stop thinking you can. You can only give them advice and you can move on. It's their toe to hold. It's their road to toe. Or y'all know where I'm going with it. Their hold, their toe to hold. Y'all know where I'm going with it. Ain't going to keep going down that road because it might get a tongue twisted type of thing and then really fuck me up later on. Okay? So we, we ain't going to go there. We ain't going to go there. But you know what I'm saying. Get the car back in the road because you done veered off. You done veered off into yonder land. And we don't need to be over there in y yonder land. Because uh, we got too many people acting up, acting crazy out there that's in yonder land. All right. Uh, let me see. And stop having expectations of what you think he should do. What you think he should be for baby Brooklyn. Your expectations has nothing to do with how he feels about himself. Okay. So stop giving him the benefit of the doubt. Look and feel of what he's giving you. Okay. Because he's showing you who he is. Stop trying to not be not letting it be so if he's showing you who he is trust and believe that's who he is it ain't gonna get no better it's only gonna get worse okay so get your self together stop thinking you can change this man stop thinking you can be with this man okay it's a bad mi mixture it's bad chemistry all right Especially if he wants to take something that he never was involved in from the beginning. And that is your house. You got your dad to love on you. Your grandmama set the standards for you. She loved you. Even when your mama didn't want to, couldn't, and didn't. Okay? She was always there for you. Alright? Those are the memories you, you should hold on to. Because everybody's not here. We're only here for a designated time. And then we're gone. So, be around the folks that treat you like you are something, treat you like royalty, and you do the same to them. Don't worry about the ones that fall to the side. They weren't meant to be with you. They weren't meant to go the whole road with you, okay? As you elevate in life. And stop anticipating. He's supposed to be this wonderful man for Brooklyn and this that and the third Brooklyn is going to look at you she's going to admire you she's going to see what you accomplished and she's going to mimic her, herself after you so we don't need her to look at you as somebody broken that can't get over her dad because her dad didn't want her anymore you got to be who you are what you are and who you want us to see you as that's it can you that is it there's no more. There's no less. Okay? So, get your shit together. And, I, you know, like I said, when I, was, I don't like shit, I may be giving you kudos and, and, and all that kind of jazz at the time. But when I see you living foul, you're doing foul shit, I had, to call you, I had to call you out. And I had to remind you who you are, what you are, and who you still can become. You understand what I'm saying? So, stop all that fake, fraudulent, fuckery, foolishness. Or trying to understand this man called Mark. Okay. We need you to do that quick fast in a hurry. And no more excuses. No more saying he's this, that, and the third. Because really it looked like Candy getting tired of your ass too. About this. Now we already was tired of Drew. And all the comings and goings. And we knew her part she played into the mess that she's in of a marriage right now. But Candy looked like she wanted to say a few things. Or she did say a few things and you didn't like it. Okay. But I'm like, listen to all uh, money bags. Sexual desired fiend freak of the year of the millennium. Listen to her. Okay. Listen to her. Because she's all about her coins and she's all about her family. And y'all, <laughs> I know y'all want to stay tall. Love her. And she and Todd got a good relationship, honey. And she can't just show y'all in front of y'all face what she's all about. She's all about that money, and she's all about them women, okay? And the rest could fall to the wayside. Because she's going to always keep her family together. 
and straight. She's going to always keep that bank account looking pretty and in the black. And then she's going to take care of herself. And right now she seems like she's more, than, more so on women than men. It just is what it is. So can you? Uh, get it together, baby. You're too old in the game. You're too old in the game to be sitting here having your temper tantrums and uh, thinking Ma is going to uh, prove himself to be a great gentleman and straighten up and fly right now. He trash. He trash. He's trash. Understand, he's trash. And you deserve better and you can do better. Okay? I know Ma fine. He probably laid it down in the bed. He probably had a good pipe thing going on situation but it ain't yours no more you don't want to play with candace toys so I'm, I'm just needing you to understand everything that looks good everything that go glitter ain't gold every person you think is for you may be against you okay it's okay to be alone because loneliness is different from being alone you see what i'm saying loneliness is different from w being alone and okay with being alone okay you have served and proved and showed you could do what you need to do with, you know, being uh, in a relationship or being in a, a kinship, friendship with a man. But right now, it's all about you in Brooklyn. Y'all growing. You can have your companions on the side and this, that, and third. But until you figure out who you are after this divorce mess, you would never be whole. Okay? So we need you to work on you. We need you to work on you and your mentality and how you view Mark daily going forward. Okay, because he's someone you did love, you did care for, you tried to make it work. But guess what? He didn't. He wasn't in it full fledged, and ain't no sense of you backtracking. It ain't no sense of you backtracking because he damn sure made you look like a fool on the show. Okay, and you were unhappy, and you told it in several interviews going forward of how this, that, and the third. And I like how you don't try to tear him down or destroy him in public. Okay, but guess what? Sometimes you have to just give him silence. When people want to say whatever, whatever, you just say that's a subject that's too personal to you right now. Uh, and you don't want to discuss it. You can have that in interviews. They can ask you a whole lot of other shit they, they want to. But Mark would not be one of a topic you should be discussing. Okay? Because we see he still has your heart. You have his heart. Okay, and you need to, you know, be like a vampire and somebody stab you in that heart so it can just, you know, just die and don't ever come back in your life, okay? Because you got the best part of him. When you see him, you see, when, Bruce, when you're looking at Brooklyn, you see him. Period, point blank, okay? But, move on, Kim, move on. It's time to move on, all right? And that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all liked it, love it. Gotta have more. You know, I'll see you more this day because it's memorial day and i have nothing else to do <laughs> but to enjoy your company and make videos okay and i'll see you next one bye bye